<laughs> Hi, it's Mike here at Music Villa. I just wanted to uh, welcome you all back to the Acoustic Letter. We've had a, a pretty good run those last couple of months, covering a lot of topics from from chords and chord scales and soloing and different little tips and tricks and licks. And then we were fortunate enough, uh, the last couple of weeks, we had our friend Chad Fadley in the studio with us. And we did a, a session on rhythm and we played a played a tune that I think we had out last week. Uh, some really fun stuff. So I thought in taking this break, we would start a new topic. So we're going to do a launch into a new little mini series uh, on the subject of cross picking. Um, some people have asked about that and wanted to get some more information about how to cross pick. So here we go. Uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll point you to an article that I wrote on the Gersey Files blog. I think it was article number three called cross picking. So you're probably going to want to grab that. We'll have a link here on the site so you can just click and go get that article. Inside that article, not only do I talk about what cross picking is and a little historical perspective, but there's some tab in there and it's the tab that you're probably going to want to have handy because I'm going to basically go through that today so we can uh, work together on that. So cross picking is really just a way of uh, arpeggiating a chord. So we're going to do it on three strings at least. So when we have three strings and we form a chord, then instead of just strumming the chord, you know, just our regular strum pattern, we're actually going to break that chord up and that's what cross picking is. It allows us to uh, sort of give a different sort of tone flavor to the chord. We can add some melody to it. It's sort of a, a way of, of doing a, a mini chord melody, if you will. And, and there's two distinct styles that we're going to go over. One is called the down, down, up style, which we're going to do today. And then uh, in a subsequent video, we're going to explore the alternate picking pattern. We'll do, we'll do all of them through this series. but. Uh, today we're going to try to keep it short and just go over the down, down, up style. So let me just go ahead and play a little bit and show you what it sounds like. I'll play a tune called uh, Bury Me Beneath the Willow. And I'll start it out with just a traditional sort of Carter style uh, uh, boom chukka chord melody type arrangement. And then I'll go into the cross pick and you'll hear the difference. Okay, so that was an example of what the down, down, up style would sound like when I went through the second chorus you probably heard, where the melody was still being played, but underneath it there was this sort of tickling of the strings, if you will, that sort of spelled out the chord. So that's what we're going to look at. So if you have the tab in front of you, if you grab that, we're going to look at the down, down, up pick pattern, which we're going to do on three strings. So I'm just going to grab this little mini G here, it's like an F chord slide it up to the third fret and we're going to just do this pattern it's going to be a down stroke it's actually a rest stroke come to rest on the b string a second down stroke that swings over the e string and then back up and then we we'll repeat that down That's the idea of this, this down, down, up style. What happens though is because we're playing on three, three notes on three strings, we're still playing in a four, four time. So we get this three against four idea. So the, the accent or the beat actually shifts. If I was to play it slow and count it out, one, two, three, four, you'd get this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So you see how it takes three 
sort of cycles, if you will, before it comes around to the downbeat again, being on the low string. So that creates this syncopated feel. And so it can be, get a little monotonous, so we have to find a way to break out of that cycle, so to speak, and that's what we do with what we call a toggle, which is just to play a down up to get out of the to get out of the cycle. So that would just be down, down, up, down, down, up, then down, up. That toggle then straightens it out and brings it back to the top. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we're back to the top. So that toggle gives us that uh, uh, three, four. and we can play, we can shift chords, we can do whatever we want. So we'll have something like... Okay, so that's sort of the idea of how that down, down, up works. There's a second way that we're going to play that, and that is in the example that you have in your tab as well, which is going to be where we do a rest stroke. So we sort of pause, down, then we come up again, and then we do the down, down, up. And then we toggle. So we have so on and so forth. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take those two patterns and we're going to hook them up back to back and create a little sequence. It's going to sound like this. So practice that sequence, and then you just got, you have to do it slow. So it's going to be. And eventually you'll, you'll get it up to a playing speed where you'll feel comfortable with it. So that's the down, down, up style. And that pattern, that sequence, is what I did when I was playing Bury Me Beneath the Willow. So we just kind of went into this. So you can work that out and uh, and get that pattern going. And then when you have that pattern going, just play it against the chords. You don't. I'm not expecting you to learn how to play bare meat doodle just yet, but just play it across the chords. So you might do something like this. So that's the down, down, up. So uh, we're going to uh, end this video and then we're going to move into next week's video where I'm going to basically just review what we did, put it against a different song, and then introduce what I call the down, down, up lick, which uh, you may have heard me play in that song. And I'll break that down for you and we'll add that for next week. So until next week, this is Micah Music Video. We'll see you.